Namaste. In this session, we are going to discuss about human resource management practices in small firms. After this session, you should be able to recognize the role of HRM function in startup firms and small firms, uh, identify the prominent features of uh, human resource management practices in small firms, appreciate the issues and challenges of HRM in small firms. Uh, we will also discuss and after that you will should be able to identify some IT based tools uh, for HRM processes and practices particularly, particularly useful in the small firms. And uh, we will also discuss new codes of labor in India. So, we are going to discuss the new codes uh, of the labor in India which are ready with government yet to be notified, but uh, cleared by the parliamentary committee and those codes have implications on both small firms as well as large firms. So, in this session we are also going to discuss the new to be notified, uh, but accepted codes of labor in India. Before we discuss about HRM practices in small firms, we need to recognize that organizations particularly business organizations go through several stages of development. These stages of development are captured in the Greiner's model. This model talks about different uh, activities at different stage of growth of firm. It also talks about certain crises which are generally linked to certain specific stage of firm. Any firm or organization starts with a small number of or few number of people. In the that that is called in the Greiner's model phase 1. In the phase 1, the management focus happens to be making and selling the stuff, making the selling the product or services. In this stage, organization structure happens to be informal, uh, top management style is generally individualistic and entrepreneurial in nature. Their control system is their own market research. So, they do not have any other department for control, they are directly interacting with market and based on their market research, uh, which can also be a semi formal or not very formal interactions in the market that is their major control system and uh, ownership decides about the management rewards. In this stage leadership crisis takes place that means, once the business is started and it is start operating organizations have to decide about who will lead them. Generally, firms are started by group of people and uh, in those cases, who will lead firm to the next level, which is about uh, the growth phase that is the crisis. And firms which are able to deal with the crisis are able to move uh, smoothly to the next phase, this next phase is of the direction. First phase was about creativity, ideation, identifying the best idea, refining that best idea and implementing that best idea in terms of launching the product, uh, getting foothold in the market. In the second phase, the challenge is about direction, working on that great idea continuously and gaining efficiency in production. and. Uh, excellence in service, these are the two prominent concerns of any firm in this stage. Once organization remain for sufficient time in the second stage, it reaches to the growth stage and that is where the next level of crisis happens, which is about autonomy crisis. In the previous phase, till the time organization is small or group is very small, entrepreneurial leader 
himself or herself can manage most of the activities. Many a time decisions hap, uh, happens to be centralized, even if they are not centralized, everybody knows about what all is going on in the firm and they also have opportunity to put forth their thoughts, their opinion. But it, once organization grows beyond that initial number and enters the growth stage, there is a need of formality and enhancing the efficiency in operation becomes the major question. Organization structure also becomes more complicated. It remains centralized, but the remin but functional structure or mechanistic structure starts emerging in the organization. Standard and cost centers standard operation operating procedures not only about the production, but about various functions including HRM are recognized to be implemented in this stage. Salary, merit increase, these things become more and more formal. If organization is able to meet the crisis of autonomy, wherein they are able to make the systems and processes to manage their functions well and people accept those systems and processes, they reach to the next level of growth and after that they reach to the next crisis which is control crisis which is about, uh, uh, about firm growing very big and uh, creating some autonomous mechanism, autonomous decision making processes and structures within the firm. So, we will not talk about uh, that stage. What we are going to talk about is first two stages of the organizations and in these two stages also HR function plays a important role. If HR function plays effective role in these stages, naturally it helps organizations move to the next stage. If HRM function is not taken care of well in these two stages, firm feels the pressure, they recognize the limitations of the growth and they also recognize the certain dysfunctionalities. If the foundational process and system of HR are not up to the mark. So, when we are talking about a small firms, we are talking about those firms where either creativity is a major driver of business or they are in the direction phase and those firms which have to lead and which have to deal with leadership crisis or autonomy crisis. What is exactly we mean by small firms? These are known as micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs. MSMEs are classified into three categories and this is fairly recent category. This is done based on uh, investment and turnover. So, number of employees that criteria was uh, defining criteria earlier that is changed and now criteria is based on investment and turnover. Criteria is important to define and this boundary is important to define because there are lots of uh, government schemes which are linked to the micro, medium or small nature of MSME. So, this criteria is linked to certain facilities and uh, uh, that is why it is important to have clearer definition and good definition uh, of these enterprises. So, different countries define the size of their MSMEs differently. You can have a look at it, look at it how different countries define MSME criteria differently. Uh, this data is very abundantly available. In India, it is defined in terms of the investment and turnover when it is 1 crore and 5 crore. When investment is 1 crore or turnover is 5 crore, then it is called micro enterprise. When investment is 10 crore or above and turnover is uh, less than uh, or equal to 50 crore, this is called a small enterprise 
and medium enterprise is the one which has investment lesser than uh, 50 crore and turnover is lesser than 250 crores. Importance of MSMEs can be understood in Indian context with these figures. It contributes this overall sector contributes about one quarter 24.63 to be precise of the GDP from services activities and more than 33 percent of the total manufacturing output which goes into the calculation of GDP. MSMEs also provide employment to around 120 million persons and it contributes around 45 percent of the total overall export from India. HRM and particularly strategic HRM is important for MSME because small firms they are contributing very significantly to the development of our economy and most of the economies in the world and number of writers have argued that strategic approach to managing employee is very vital for the success of all the firms. You might recall in first and second sessions of this course, we discussed about a strategic nature of HR. This whole course is based on the strategic perspective of HR. A strategic HRM is based on resource based view. Resource based view suggests that firms get competitive advantage in the marketplace based on in imitable and valuable resources. Human resource is inimitable and valuable that is why HRM has a strategic imperative and HRM in this course is understood to be in the context of strategy of the firm. So, many authors have recognized that strategic perspective of HRM is relevant for the small firms as well. They also should not look at HRM as bundle of different activities and they should not look at those activities separately or independently. They need to look at these activities whether it is recruitment, performance management, selection or uh, uh, salary and wage administration all these activities or functions of HRM need to be looked at from the strategic perspective. There are some special features of uh, MSMEs that makes a separate discussion about HRM function in the MSME context. These few slides, uh, this one and next one or two slides are taken from the textbook of uh, written by Desler and Biju Varke on human resource management. MSMEs are special because of the size. Uh, so, many of the HRM activities which we discussed earlier may not be cannot be conducted as it can be conducted in the large firms. So, because of the size they need to uh, customize those activities. So, priorities of MSME sectors or small firms are slightly different from the large firms. Small firms can grow fast, they can start quickly, they can be started quickly, they can suffer the losses also very quickly. So, because of this vulnerability, they need to very closely balance the welfare of the employees, uh, better facilities to their HR and its uh, economic sense in terms of their business sustainability. Small firms are anyway more informal in nature. Because of the informal nature uh, of the interactions of the people, there is a need to balance the professionalism in the HR practices as well as uh, their uh, employee friendliness of the practices. This by nature, small firms by nature are entrepreneurial. So, there are inbuilt characteristics of taking risk, agility, quick response, uh, very hands on kind of leadership style, uh, uh, very collective decision making process, 
shared leadership all these are the natural characteristics of the small firms and when we talk about hrm and when we try to understand the hrm in small firms we need to take into account these special features of any small firm